don't see the fish, but there it is, boys. That was the fish. Cutthroat trout were the first trout species recorded by Europeans in America. They are now divided into over a dozen subspecies, most of which occupy less than 10% of their original range. The greenback cutthroat is not only one of the rare subspecies of cutthroat, but also one of the rarest trout in the world. Recently, Colorado made headlines when they recorded their first ever wildly reproducing pure strain greenback cutthroat trout population. Which leads me to this video. Although the fish in this lake and its adjoining creek were once touted as being greenback cutthroat, these fish are actually not pure strain greenbacks and likely a hybrid of some sort. So I'll let you be the judge. How much weight do you put in pure strain native fish? And how much does this affect where and how you fish? Welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. All right guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today, I'm going after a threatened species of trout, and that is the greenback cutthroat. Now, the greenback cutthroat is threatened mostly because it is only native to one river system and I believe that's the South Platte. This is actually the first lake that I ever caught a cutthroat out of and I think it was the first lake that I ever fished, like Alpine Lake that I fished and it's kind of what started this passion of hitting these high Alpine lakes. But conditions today, um, it's a little windy so I'm not thrilled about the wind. Um, I haven't seen any fish yet which isn't a huge surprise because they're kind of hard to see but I'm kind of just gonna work this bank here and hopefully see some cruising cutthroat and then be able to catch them. At least that's the plan. Sight fish for this thing. Yes! Finally, dude, it's so difficult. I fished all the way around this lake and I finally got to the head of the lake and I just caught my first fish. And he is perfect. He, she, it is perfect in every way. Yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. Look at the colors on this little guy. Chill out, buddy. Look at him. That is, I gotta get this guy released and hopefully catch a few more for you. So guys, basically, I walked around the backside of this lake. There's a lot of people here. Most of them are hikers. There's one other guy fishing. And I just didn't see any fish. Um, and this lake, at least last time I fished it, the fish were swimming real close to the bank. And what I'm afraid of is that people are just spooking the fish and they're not like settling in to like cruising the banks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to check out this arm of the creek. I'm going to fish the creek up and then I might try to fish the other side of the lake back down, I think. And the one guy that I've seen that was fishing only fished this right side of the lake. So, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to get on a few more fish for you guys. little guy but a fish it's only my second fish of the day so i ain't gonna complain oh gosh so we made it up to like where it's legitimately a creek i mean look how small that pocket is that i just caught this fish out of but these greenbacks although they were this the strain was stocked into this little drainage here the fish are actually they're reproducing at this point obviously look how colorful those are I mean, holy cow. I'll just release him back in the hole he came out of. So, anyway, I don't know what he's doing. Hello, sir. There you go, buddy. Go back up in there. So cool. I guess I see one little cutthroat. He's sitting right here on the right side. He just ate something. Ooh, I see a slightly bigger one.
God, little one. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Cast it on the rock edge and he came out and smashed it. It's so cool to catch these little fish, man. So especially for these fish guys, make sure your hands are wet. Cause these are um, a pretty special little fish. Let me show, see if I can show this fish off real quick. Look at the colors on him. Chill. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to hurt you. But look at the colors on that fish. Just those little, little fella. This little fishy. And he already looks the way that he does. I mean, that is just unreal. So, we'll go ahead and unhook him. And then we'll get him released. Oh, shoot, guys. There's two cutthroat right here in front of me. Ouch. Come on. Got him. <laughs> oh, he came off. Dang it. Well, he's in a different hole now. I don't know how he came off, to be honest with you. You're down here somewhere. It's okay, he can get back up there pretty easily. Dang, dude. Oh, I see another one. It just ate a dry fly. Dude, this is insane. That might be in his realm. He's gonna eat it. Got him. That's a nice one, boys. Get the net out. Let's go! Boy, I had to freaking work for this little fella here. I'll tell you that much. Let me show off this fish real quick. Look at the colors on that fish. Tell me that is not just an incredible little cutthroat trout. This one's got some pink on his belly, like some pinky orange color on his belly. That is unreal. I'll go ahead and release him. But, I mean, the pinks on these fish's fins, too, are just incredible. Just saw two trout. They came from that left little pocket. And swam to the right. I don't see them now, but there's a couple bigger ones up here, though, somewhere. I don't know where they went. Must have kept swimming, I guess. Mm -mm. Bet I could catch one right here if I could see. But seeing in the creek that's not very wide here. It's proving to be difficult. There's a spot here. If I get a fly in, I might be able to catch a fish. And a fly in there is going to be difficult at best. Oh gosh, got him. That's a nice one, dude. Look at where I just caught that fish. Like, that is just, I'm literally catching him in holes. Come here, buddy. Mr. Perfection. Wonder if that's the Got him. Another little guy. Oh, he came off. That's fine. I don't know how well you guys can see or how well like the GoPro's conveying this, but like, I mean, this is just tiny little cracks and that's like just any spot that I can get a fly into. And these little cutthroat are coming out from the edges of the banks. And smoking a drop, this little gnat. I see a fish. I'm going to back up. The fish is sitting in that pocket over there. I'm going to back up and get on that little ledge there. 
and then that way I have an angle so that if slash when the fish actually eats I can catch them rather than just doing whatever I was doing about to do which is probably fail miserably I don't see the fish but oh yeah I do I see him ate it there it is boys that was the fish see this little pocket he's sitting in here though whoa he's fighting now but, i mean they sit in these tiny little pockets like this and, and all these banks are undercutting stuff then you get yourself a nice little cut throat and even though i'm kind of away from the water always wet your hands for these things Show him off, and then there he goes, right back to the undercut. Yeah, this one was just cruising around in this little hole here, and then as you can see, the creek is like yay wide there and goes up. And uh, yeah, there's probably a cutthroat up here further, so let's go check him out. Alright, guys, if you can see, we got a pocket here again, and I know for a fact, like I can see at least three fish swimming around. So, trying to pick out a bigger one. There's a couple little ones, like little young of the year type fish in the back end. And then there's one slightly bigger fish, a little bit higher up. I'm looking for him right now. Where are you at, buddy? I don't see my bigger fish anymore. Oh, there he is. Got him. <laughs> I didn't see him, but as soon as I set the hook there, I saw him come out. Or when that dry fly hit, I saw that fish come out. There's a bunch of little young of the year fish in this little pocket here. Come here, bud. Whoa, 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 chill. Thanks, friend. This is the little pocket he's sitting in. There's a couple little fish sitting in there. And go ahead and release this guy for you guys. Try to get an underwater release. Um, he got out somehow. Hmm. Must have jumped out of the net. <coughs> anyway, yeah, cool stuff. All right, guys, this little hole right here has like a bunch of fish in it. I'm gonna catch this one cutthroat if possible. None of them are huge, but pff, the mosquitoes are kind of bad here, but they're kind of fun. These slightly larger fish are running around kind of trying to spook the little ones away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some fish like two inches underneath me right here. I can probably catch, watch this. What? So cool man that is so cool sight fishing for these little buggers here look how dark he is that is incredible oh thanks buddy by the way before someone leaves a comment they can get up through here pretty easily so releasing them in a slightly different hole isn't gonna affect much got one 
Thanks, little buddy. What you doing? Doesn't get much better than this. Can't change my mind. Go ahead and pop him off and release him. see another oh I see a real nice one that I'm gonna try to go for here I think it's the biggest one in this hole maybe yeah he probably is got him I think that's the biggest one in the hole I think so I could be wrong, but he looked like it. Or he's least on par with him. Look at this little fella. That's just amazing. There he goes. Back to where he came from. I think I see a big one up there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's a real big one up there, boys. A real big one. It's bigger than any of them. He is sitting right up in here. He's feeding too. He's heading up the, oh, he's turning back around. I think this is one of the biggest fish I've seen in the creek. Hold. Oh, he might come all the way down. No, no, no. Well, he's just swimming around chilling up there. Just waiting for the right moment to swing a shot up there. Guarantee he'll eat it. Now, whether or not I hook him or not, it's a different story. Mm. Let's try it here. Got him. That's him, boys. That's the king of the pool. Sitting up there a little further, but that's sick. Let's go. So let me just show you this, guys. This fish was sitting right in here, swimming around, running fish. And there's another one just hit a dry up there, but he's the king of this pool for sure. I mean, there's several other nice fish in here, as you saw. I've got like four or five out of here, but whoa, chill out, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. All right, guys, so I've made it up about as far as I wanna fish in this creek. Um, I caught quite a few fish, so I've kind of hit my fill or got my fill of catching these little cutthroat. As cool as it is, I think I'm going to turn around and go back down to the lake and try to catch some of those bigger fish that are cruising. And instead of fishing the side of the lake that I came in on, I'm going to fish the other side of the lake and just hope that less people have fished it. Because um, I know at least one other guy fished the side that I came in on this morning. And I think that's just why I wasn't seeing as many fish as I normally do. So, yeah, I'm going to eat lunch, relax, and then start my hike out and hopefully catch some bigger cutthroat for you guys all right guys there's a cutthroat cruising oh he just did a dry fly i think if i can get a oh my gosh he just tried to jump out of the water for a dragonfly Okay, see the fly. Got him. Yes, 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 dude. Oh my gosh. Such a nice cutthroat. My biggest thing of the day for sure. Come here, buddy. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. This fish was cruising through, literally, like this far from the bank. He jumped off of this rock one point to try to eat a uh, dragonfly like that little fella. I finally got him. Oh my gosh, it took a minute to be honest with you. All right guys, so basically what I'm doing at this lake is I'm like stalking along the bank, like literally hunting for these cutthroat that are hopefully gonna be cruising through in the shallows, because that's where they're eating the bugs, it seems like. But um, for the rod, I'm using a Renegade Black Series, eight foot four three weight. This rod's about perfect. 
like length and weight for these fish. They still put up a good fight. Um, but it's got a little bit of length to it so I can still cast. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just hunting for these fish. There's one right here in front of me. Denied me. Oh, nope. Got him. He denied me and came back for it. <laughs> that was cool. Explaining what I'm doing to catch a fish. It's a nice one too. But these fish are cruising the banks because that's where the, the flies are for them to eat. And it makes for some really fun and unique fishing. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, this is like heaven to me. Sight fishing for these cutthroats that are cruising these shallow weed edges and banks. Woo. All right, guys, well, that's gonna just about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me catch some beautiful little greenback cutthroat trout. The lake definitely has the bigger fish, but it looks, it feels to me like this creek is kind of what's the lifeblood of this little drainage here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.